Good day, YouTube. January Man 169 here. It's so relaxing out here by the river that, uh, you know, I like to I like to start the videos off down here. You know, you guys, if you've been following my videos for a while, <clears throat> you're probably... Well, I really can't remember how many videos I posted of this, but last year the river washed the soil out from under this tree and laid it over. It's up there resting on a tree across the way. But uh, something I've noticed down here is the water pulling up that's P-O-O-L-I-N-G. Pulling. <clears throat> underneath it there. Um, typically. You don't see a whole lot of. Fish. In this water. I mean. None that you would really be interested in catching. You know, they're too little. Um, so, I don't know how long that tree will be here. This is not this is not part of my property right through here. Um, when I say my property, I rent a house. I don't own it. But, uh, up here, y'all, there's a hill, okay? And somewhere, either in that hill, top the hill, below the hill, somewhere in there, <clears throat> is the property line. <clears throat> and it, it comes out at an angle, and then turns and heads out to the road <clears throat> that's that's what's mine this ground that I'm standing on belongs to the city and back when I was a let's see must have been well it would have been in the 80s they they cut a trail through here along the river that that uh, something was sticking me in the ankle I was like something biting me or I don't know but anyway so back in the 80s they, they cut a trail system along through here if you walk this river north You'll come to a waterfall. It's called Thistle Weight. Yeah, Thistle Weight. Um, <clears throat> it's a popular spot. A lot of people like like to go there. And uh, across the street from that fall is a city park called Springwood and so uh, back in the 80s the city they they put in in the park they put in a a trail it, it started out just around the park and it had little stations where uh, you could stop and do uh, pull ups, uh, you know. You do, you know, you do your chin ups. You, you had a spot for doing uh, sit ups, um, what have you, you know. And it, it started out as an exercise trail. Well, then they they extended across the road and down along the river, and it come through here. You. See that 
post leaning right there that was a marker a trail marker they had them various places down through here so the trail went down i don't know if y'all can see the bridge over there uh Right there where the cars are crossing. Okay. Well, the trail went under that bridge. Just immediately, the other side of the bridge, there were, they had coming up the, up this bank. They, they made a stairway. And you walked up, and you come out along the road, cross the bridge, and then continued. There's a big field over there on that side. And the trail continued along the river, around, and then you come to another, there's a road up the street there, uh, you joined up with it, crossed the road, and, uh, or crossed the bridge, um, I can't remember if you went down under and over, I don't remember all that, but, um, anyway, the because this river joins in to the main river. Both of them are whitewater river. And uh, just different branches. And uh, <clears throat> and then the trail continued south uh, through town down there. Uh, on the south end where, where the trail stops at, it's called Test Road. And, uh, over the years, the city just gave up on it. So, um, like, the people that live around here, there's, I've got, I've got two neighbors. There's one house, and then down there where the, all that wood you know, all the cut or woods down there to be cut up. Um, two neighbors. And then across the street, I have a neighbor. You go across the bridge, there's a house right on the other side of the bridge alongside the road. And there's two or three houses up top on the hill here. No, I don't have, I mean, it, I live in town, but it's like being in the country. And, uh, so, um, I think the lady next door, she hasn't done a whole lot over here, back here with hers. I've trimmed down there, these, these old bushes, trees, whatever you want to call them. You know, all, when I moved in here, this looked like down there. It was all overgrown. And I, I cut a bunch of it out. And I'm thinking about cutting more of it out. <clears throat> okay. To uh, just to open up the view over here to the river. <clears throat> but um, anyway, I don't see that plane. I hear him. But, uh, getting back to the, the tree here, I got a feeling that the way that water's pulling under there, you know, that'll be a good spot for fish, you know, who knows, maybe. Maybe we'll get some fish. I'll tell you one thing that's plentiful. Very, 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 very plentiful in this shallow, until it rains, in this shallow river. The one thing that is highly plentiful, and that's crawdads. Tons and tons of them. You just got to... Get in there and look. You know, pull some rocks. They're in there. And uh, as a matter of fact, um, let me see. I don't want to step. Um, 
uh, may have hmm. yeah here it is here it is here it is this is a dead one <clears throat> last week it the river flooded you can see all the debris left behind from from it and after the water receded that little guy was resting there already dead so I mean there's there's plenty of crayfish in there. I I personally call them freshwater lobster. I mean, they're a uh, they are a cousin to them great big giant lobsters. Y'all eat? I don't eat them. I'm not into that, but you know, that's more for y'all that do eat them. Okay, so now that I uh, got my coffee out here hanging out by the river, it's a little chilly. It's supposed to get up 47. Uh, it ain't quite there yet, but man, I gotta get this wood split. I gotta get that trailer finished. Little buddy up there on the tree. My wife feeds them squirrels. She's not feeling good today, so uh, they're not. They're not. Or they've not been fed yet today. <clears throat> At least not from us. They get. They can find their own food, but uh, I'm going to be going in and. Uh, I'm waiting on the, uh, the fuel pump for the Craftsman. So I think today I'm going to move that out of the way and I'm going to uh, dig into the zero turn, that snapper. Um, I've mentioned before that the, uh, you know, it doesn't like climbing hills. Like in front of my my front yard out there by the road, it goes uphill, and uh, the mower don't like to climb that hill. And something else it doesn't like to do, um, it goes very very slowly, and that's when I turn right. It doesn't turn very quickly, <clears throat> and uh, and it's so. Uh, you know, a person would tend to think, well, it could be uh, maybe the pump is going out. That's worst case scenario. But uh, the uh, um, I don't know what it is. That's why I got to investigate it, dig into it and look. But uh I'm gonna make sure none of the none of the uh, linkages are broken. Uh, you know, I think I think one side is actually actuated by a lever, you know, a, a rod, and um, and then the other side is uh the left i think the left side is cable uh actuated and uh i'm not certain uh, but i'll be finding out here today i'm gonna check everything out make sure nothing's bent or stretched um and then uh 
Um, then, uh, let's see. I'm also going to figure out or try to figure out how you get to the, uh, each one of them, uh, each side of the mower, because it has independent, like a, like you, I guess you call it a transaxle, you know, the transmission, whatever, um, it has, it's supposed to have independent deals on it, and each one has a re oil reservoir. So, I'm going to look to see how you get to that. And, uh, hopefully it's not too difficult. And, uh, I'm going to see if maybe if, if, it, if it's low on, uh, oil. <clears throat> it's a, uh, that, that snapper is a 1999. Could, um, yeah. It's a 99. I started to say it could be a 98, but I don't. I don't believe so. I think it's a 99. And um, um, you know, who knows when the last time the fluid was checked or even you know replaced, whatever. Um, so I'll, that's what I'll be doing today and. I may or may not make a video of it. I haven't decided yet. Um, but, uh, you all can comment. Let me know if, uh, if that's something that you'd like to see. Um, it's one of the, that particular zero turn, it's a joystick type. It's a 18 horse, 48 inch cut, zero turn, joystick control. So, uh, yeah, we're at almost 18 minutes. I reckon uh, we'll uh, end this video here, and then I, I can work on uh, digging into that. So, uh, we'll catch you guys later.